My connection to Belfast Girls and to Ireland is that I was taught in America that it was just it was just a potato blade. And I didn't know until I was in the play the first time that that wasn't true. And what I've chosen for myself is to be an activist in my art and to choose very specifically what kind of stories I tell. And and we can talk about the truth of what happened to these women. And we can also talk about the truth of how you see this reflected in your family's stories, in your life, what you see on the news. People can unpack their own privileges or their lack thereof. So that that's what really, that's my connection to Ireland and to Belfast Girls, what really excites me about it. My connection to this material and this play, I feel like, is more, you know, the Australian side of my dad's family came to the country in the early 1850s on a boat, not unlike the Inchinen in this play. Yeah, from Abbey Shrule in um, County Longford and have been in the country ever since. And so, yeah, it's a story about emigration and it's a very Irish story. It's an Irish play by a wonderful Irish writer, but it's also an Australian story. So it's 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 nice to 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 represent and be the Australian um, in the room. Well, my connection to the Belfast girls is I'm Irish. I grew up about an hour and a half away from Belfast, and my mum is from Belfast. Um, so first of all, I was like, okay, at least I can do the accent. Um, sorry, that's not a dig at anybody else. <laughs> I just meant I didn't have to work very hard. <laughs> Right, perfect. I'll keep going. Um, yeah, I am Irish and we grew up learning about the famine. But interestingly enough, some of the ways that it's brought up here in the ways that it's a starvation, it's not a famine, was also not mentioned maybe completely in schools, in Irish schools, which is, unless I miss that, but it was, it was mentioned as a potato blight. It was the main thing was there was a blight of the potatoes. And that's all the Irish had to eat. But in fact, there was food and it was getting sent out. It was getting exported. So many people had to emigrate because of, of, of what happened in the country. And then, like, you know, today, the starvation is now happening again in Gaza. And it's all very relevant and it's all stuff, just really good things to talk about. So what better play to do?